Many showed up for a hearing Monday night to tell their stories about how they believed they were exposed when the military used to spray chemical herbicides throughout the island, such as to kill weeds at the fuel pipelines. Former fire chief and Vietnam vet Joseph St. Nicholas. As soon as they spray those things, the forest just dies out and it takes a couple of months and even years for it to go back on. And I've seen this also in Vietnam as an experience when I was out in the jungle. And, you know, I am I'm even right now uh, thinking about why did my son die for cancer? Why are we all dying from cancer? I've got cancer myself. I got severe diabetes. Former educator Lorraine Okada says as a young woman just starting a family in the late 70s, she worked at Anderson Air Force Base. I gave birth to a fine, healthy young boy whom I thought was healthy, only to find out that my baby was diagnosed with cancer. Well, we find out years later that my late husband was exposed to Agent Orange and it was service related due to his time in Vietnam. I thought it was an avenue for me to seek help from the Veterans Administration for my son. Since my late husband passed away, I had no other means of help or support. I went to the VA only to be declined because the military and the Veterans Administration claim they have no responsibility over me and my son because we are civilians. I know there are many other civilians who have suffered the same way I did, have suffered the same way my son did, but they are non-military and no one seems to, they, have see, they seem to have nowhere to go. And local Dr. Vince Akamoto says the spraying of Agent Orange in Guam made our people sick. The non-military use of Agent Orange on Guam has more likely than not contributed to the development of certain cancers and presumptive conditions such as type 2 diabetes, ischemic heart disease, thyroid disease, and lung disease. If passed, the Lujan resolution seeking redress for civilian victims will be sent to the U.S. Congress. Nestor Lecanto, KUAM News.